on a default setting of uh, Peppermint uh, 11. Uh, one of the uh, difficulties I see is with a, uh, a test bar uh, workspaces. I think officially these are called pager, so different pages. Uh, so there right now there are six pages uh, or, or workspaces, and right now I'm on uh, one, two, three, four, five. And to make, uh, is, uh, so for example, when I'm on six, it's very difficult to uh, tell whether I'm on six or one or the other uh, spaces. So I think the, this small uh, script of uh, file will fix the problem. So we'll, first thing we'll have to do is we'll have to create a small file. And uh, we can do that uh, just opening up a, a terminal and we'll, we'll just put it on one side. First, we'll just create the file within a home um, folder dot config the gtk3 uh, and then this particular file. So we'll just need to just copy and this creates a file. So we'll go ahead and <coughs> We'll create a file so uh, we can uh, verify that it's. Uh <coughs> we'll just move this over here, and within a config, and uh, GTK3, and here's a file that we just created. So and then next, what we'll do is we'll have to edit this file. So I prefer Genie, but if you have Nano or whatever, G-Edit, you can use that. But we'll go ahead and copy this, and then we'll uh, go ahead and enter into the command. And so we have uh, this uh, an empty file. What we need to do is just copy these four lines. has to do with the background color. Uh, uh, when you hover over the uh, mouse or uh, active uh, selected uh, color. So we'll just go ahead and copy this. And you can change the colors uh, here and here to your liking, but I prefer, the, uh, prefer this uh, color. So we'll go ahead and put that into the uh, newly created file, which is the GTK CSS. And we'll just go ahead and simply copy it. Now we'll have to save this obviously and then we'll save it and then all we need to do is just give it a command of uh, it'll be easier to see so it's xfc for panel space dash r so we'll just go ahead and copy and then we'll go ahead and We'll go ahead and insert it here. So we'll paste. And then, and watch what happens. Uh, watch what happens here. The page and when I activate it. So we'll go ahead and give it an activation. So now you can see the color has changed. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at that pager over there. And then we'll close this. First is when I'm on uh, uh, page uh, the uh, uh, workspace number three. You clearly know you know that the you're in uh, three. The color is very different than the other uh, uh, pages or workspaces. We know there is uh, still that same uh, genie uh, file over here, and then we'll go to once. Uh, one uh, so and then uh, you can see that you're here in one and there is a, uh, a file on uh, workspace five. One two three four five. So I think this makes it very easy to see where you which workspace you're in and also uh, which workspaces contain uh, an application. So I think that's a very si a significant improvement from the default setting with uh, difficulty knowing which workspaces you're in. Uh, and so 
and when you also hover over it, there is a distinct difference of the uh, uh, workspace. So I think this is a short one, but it should be very helpful. Thanks.